Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the shear force and bending moment diagram. In this lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions for this beam and then we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. This is a simply supported beam and the total length of the beam is 12 meter while only the 4 meter length of the beam has been loaded with a uniformly distributed load of 3 kN per meter. So we have to find first of all the support reactions for this beam. Let's suppose this is point A and this is point B. And there is no horizontal load acting on this beam. So we only have vertical load. So there will be only vertical resistance to this load. So let's suppose this is RA and this is RB, the support reactions for both the supports. Now, to find out the support reactions, let's consider that summation of moment at any point is equal to zero. And in this case, I'm taking the summation of moment at point A is equal to zero. So all the moments about point A are equal to zero and the clockwise moment are taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment are taken as negative. This is just the sign convention. So the moment about point A is first this force will create the moment about point A and it will create an anti-clockwise moment so anti-clock will be negative so minus RB multiply with the moment term the moment term for this RB will be the whole distance from this point up to this A point so it will be 12 meter and there is a load of 3 kN per meter this also creates the moment about point A so and this will create the clockwise moment about point A because it is acting in this downward direction. So it will create clockwise moment. So 3 kN per meter. So it will be 3 multiplied with the 4 because this is a distributed over the distance of 4 meters. So it will be 3 multiplied with 4 and multiply with the moment arm. The moment arm for this uniformly distributed load will be is this 4 will act at the center at this point at the center of this 4 meter. So this will be 2 meter and this will be 4 meter. So the total will be 6 meter into 6. So summation of all the moment about point A is equal to 0. Now if we shift this value into the right side, so 12 RB will be equal to the 72. So RB comes out to be 6 kN. So this is 6 kN. Now to find out the reactions Ra, let's consider the summation of moment at point B is equal to 0. Again, the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise is taken as negative. Ra is creating the clockwise moment about point B. So it will be Ra positive multiplied with the moment term. The moment term for this Ra is 12 meter from this point up to this point is 12 meter. Similarly, this load also creates a moment about point B but this is acting downwards, so it will create anti-clockwise moment about point B. So it will be minus 3 multiplied with the 4, because 4 is the distance on which it is distributed, and multiply with the moment arm. Now the moment arm, it will act at the center, so it will be 2 meter, the half of 4, and this 4 meter. So again, this will be 6 meter, equal to 0, so 12 RA, Will be equal to the 72 and Ra comes out to be 6 kN. So we both have the same magnitude of the support reactions. So Ra is also 6 kN. Why? Because the load was acting at the middle of this beam. So half of the load is taken by this support and half of the load is taken by this support. Or we can also verify the load by the summation of vertical forces equal to 0. The vertical forces acting in the upward direction are 6 and 6 kN, 6 kN plus 6 kN while this load is acting downward and it is minus 3 multiplied with the 4, so it is distributed over the 4 meter. So this is taken as positive 6, 6 because they are acting in upward direction while the other one is acting in the downward direction. So I assume that it is taken as negative. So 6 into 6, 12 minus 12. So it means it will be cancelled, so 0 is equal to 0, so it means we find out our support reaction reactions correctly. 
So this is the way how to find out the support reactions. Now we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. So let's consider these are the reference lines. For the shear force and the bending moment, let's consider this is the horizontal reference line for the shear force diagram in the unit of kilonewton, while the bending moment diagram will have the unit of kilonewton meter. So now to start with the shear force diagram, this is support reactions. We will start from this in this is zero zero horizontal line. The above value will be positive and the below value will be taken as negative. So this 6 kN is acting in upward direction. So we will move this from 0 up to the 6. Now there is no load on this beam. So up to the 4 meter, it will be a straight line. Now there is a load of 3 kN per meter or the distance of 4 meter. So if I multiply this 3 with the 4, so I got 3 multiplied with 4, I got 12. But this is negative 12 because it is acting downward direction. So this is 6 was acting upward direction. It was positive. If I subtract this plus 6 minus 12, so it will be minus 6. Because this is acting in downward direction. So if plus 6 and minus 12, it will be minus 6. So here will be minus 6. So I will bring this line here up to the minus 6. Now again, there is no load acting on this portion of the beam. 4 meter length so it will be a straight line and there is again load of 6 kN acting in upper direction so this is the shear box or the shear force diagram for this beam the above value from, from above value from the reference line are taken as positive while below values are taken as negative so with the help of these shear boxes I will find out the area of each shear box and it will be the bending moment value for this bending moment diagram so let's consider this is a rectangle box. The height is 6 meter and the base, this base is 4 meter. This is 4 meter. So the, the area of this box will be A1, let's suppose. It will be 6 multiplied with the 4 because it is a rectangle. It is 24. So the area of this box is 24. So it will be here from 0. This is 0, 0. So it is a plus shear box, positive. So the moment will also be positive. So it will be plus 24 kilonewton meter. Now the area of this box, this is a triangle. See this height is 6 and this base is unknown to us which will be x here. So we have to find this base. So to find out this x, this 6 is was the force acting in the positive direction and this 3 was acting downward. So 6 minus 3 into x equal to 0. The point where the shear force becomes equal to zero is unknown to us. That's why we make the shear force is equal to zero. So 6 is equal to 3x or x is equal to 2. So x is 2 meter here. So this was 4 meter. So the half of the distance is this triangle and half is this triangle. This will also be 2 meter. So the area of this box is now, it is a triangle. So it is A2. It will be half. Base is 2 meter. Height is 6 meter. So base into height, so it is 6. The area of this box is 6. So if I add this 24 with 6, because this is also positive, so 24 plus 6 will be 30. So it will become here, at this point it will become 30 kilonewton meter. Now this line will be a curve line or the 2 degree line. I will explain this later. Similarly, the area of this box is a negative and we know there is a triangle box. So, area will be half based into height. Base is 2 and height is 6. So, area of this is, let's suppose, A3. Half base into 6, base into height. So, it is also equal to 6. But this is a negative, so it will be minus 6. So, if we subtract this 6 from 30, it will be again 24. Again, we have 24 bending moment value here. Now, the area of this box is again the height is, this height is 6 and the base is 4 meter. So, the area of A4 will be 6 into 4. It is a rectangle box. So, the area is 24 but it is negative 24 because this is below the reference line. So, plus 24 with the minus 24, it will become 0 here. 
so we have zero bending moment at the two extreme push position because these are the hinge and roller support and they cannot take any moment and also this was the one de zero degree line horizontal line so this was a one degree line and this was one degree line a linear line so this I draw it is a curve this was a two degree line now similarly this was zero degree line so this will be a one degree line a linear line because the bending moment diagram should always be one degree greater than the shear force diagram hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force bending moment diagram and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video